So we are in, uh, in Piqua Camp. Um, we exist since um, 2012. Uh, we are a self-organized community-run uh, camp, which was started by um, a local solidarity uh, group of Greeks. Um, and uh, right now we are um, a shelter for the most uh, vulnerable refugees in the island. Uh, we host around 100 people, um, including unaccompanied children, uh, single women with uh, small children and newborns, uh, victims of torture, uh, people with very serious medical conditions like uh, cancer or um, kidney disease, um, LGBT uh, community. Um, and we have received through the media the news um, two weeks ago now that uh, the Minister of Asylum and Migration will uh, close us down. Um, and then we have also received the news that uh, the eviction uh, order um, is with uh, the police to, uh, to evict us latest by the 15th of October. Uh, the latest that we heard, because we don't have any direct communication with the authorities, we have uh, requested this, we have sent several letters, we have tried to contact them, we learn everything through the media. The last thing that we um, understood from the police is that uh, our residents will be taken to the, to the new camp. Uh, I think all of us by now know that the new camp that was created after the fires that destroyed the old Moria camp is simply horrible. Everybody inside us there tells us that the conditions are worse than in the old camp. People go hungry, um, there is basically no sanitation, no proper toilets, no showers. Uh, people don't feel safe there. We had huge floodings already with the first rains some, um, some days ago. And on top of that, COVID is also more and more spreading in the new camp. As I said, we host very vulnerable um, people here. Uh, the large, large uh, majority uh, of people is really at high risk of COVID. It would be simply very dangerous and it's totally irresponsible for them to go to the new camp. And for us, it's very clear. I mean, nobody should be in the new camp. There should be no more Morias. The new camp should close. And what we need is more people, more places like, like Pikpa. Uh, places where people are supported, where people feel safe, where people are supported with dignity and in solidarity. And this is what we need. And uh, we are very much, you know, against this trend that we see now and this decision in Europe and in Greece to put people in imprisonment camps in hellish conditions, to contain people, to, to segregate. Um, we will always continue the fight for solidarity, for dignity, for equality for all, no matter what, what happens. Um, and we hope that everybody stands with us and we are very grateful for all the support that we have received from across Europe, from different groups and movements and so on. And we, we know that we can count on everybody and we will keep going. Thank you.